With the many different options of computers out there, it could be somewhat overwhelming to know what do I look for? Is my computer adequate? If I'm looking to buy a new computer, what do I need to find? I've put together this video to help answer some of those questions. First thing to look for is the central processing unit, or the CPU. You can get bogged down with all sorts of statistics and numbers and features and how fast is it? Is it single core or dual core? What's the cache, the pipeline? How many? On and on and on. You don't need to worry about all of that, not for most people. The main thing you need to worry about is almost any computer you get now will be fast enough for your needs. The bigger and faster the processor, of course, the faster it will be. Dual core means that one processor has two brains built into it. Having multiple processors means you can have multiple brains in the computer, if you will. And that means you can have two dual core processors, so you have four processors. Or some processors have four brains built into one chip. The more cores you have, generally the better. In general, though, for most people, unless you're doing some high-end stuff, any computer you get today will be okay. With the one caveat, beware of the super cheap deals. You get what you pay for. If it's too cheap to be true, too good to be true, it probably is not going to serve you well. Next thing to look at is memory. Again, there's all sorts of different terms that you will see when you're looking at this, and types of memory, sims and dims and dr all sorts of stuff. Most of that you can ignore. The main thing you want to know is how much memory do I need to get? Good to get one gigabyte of memory, best to get two gigabytes or even more. Computers will come with four gigabytes or even eight gigabytes of memory. This is how much the computer can think about and do at any one time. More memory, the better. For an older computer, you might get away with half of a gigabyte, which is 512 megabytes. But in most cases, you want to have at least one gigabyte and really more than that for today's computers. You also want to know how much can my computer store? That's the hard drive. As with the other items, there's all sorts of different statistics we can look at. How many gigabytes does it have? What's the size? What's the speed? How does it connect? And, and other details like that. For most people, though, you just want to know how big is it. And the good news here, most computers, it's big enough. Unless you're doing a whole lot with video or music, but video especially, that takes a lot of space, it's hard to go wrong. Of course, the bigger the hard drive, the more you can store but most computers are very adequate in that area these days. You'll also want to know about the mouse and the keyboard. Now these, if the computer comes with one you don't like, they're fairly easy to replace. Just buy one, you can usually plug it in. Or if it's wireless, there are ways of connecting that. You want to know, how does it feel in my hand? How many buttons do I want? Do I want it to be wired or wireless? All of these are just personal preference. I happen to like a mouse with a whole bunch of buttons, more than most people would, and I like mine where I can plug it in so I never have to worry about a battery running out or being recharged. Other people don't like the cord coming out, and they just want a simple mouse, say, that they can move around real well, and they want a wireless mouse. Really, it all comes down to personal preference here. They're easy enough to swap out, fairly cheap, so you can try one. If you don't like it, try another. Inside the computer, there's the video card. You don't really see this. There's not a whole lot you need to know about it. A couple of things you might want to know. Is it integrated, meaning is it part of the motherboard, or is it a separate chip that's in the computer, or a separate board, really, that has chips on it? In most cases, Either of those will serve you well. If you're doing a lot of things with games, a lot of things that really push the, the video capabilities of your computer, you might want to check to make sure that it's a separate card. Those are usually more powerful. You also want to check to see, does it have the capabilities so that in the future, if you want to have two monitors on your computer, you can do that. I have two monitors, a lot of other people do. This is becoming more common. Really gives you a lot more screen real estate and a lot of room to work around there. Connected to that monitor, or connected to the video card, will be the monitor itself. There are the older big monitors, the CRTs, or the newer LCDs, or some other technologies. Again, all sorts of things we can look at that. The main thing you need to know on that is how is the thing measured? That's diagonal. If you look at one corner to another corner, it's going to be however many inches, in this case 19 inches. The rest of it, for the most part, it doesn't matter. What does matter is how does it look to you? And you don't want to skimp here. You can get a really cheap monitor that doesn't look very good, but since you're going to be looking at this all the time when you're on the computer, get one that works well. 
There's also the sound card, which is inside the computer, and the speakers, and those are usually outside of the computer. For most people, this is not going to matter. If you listen to the speakers hooked up to the computer and you like them, then you're set. And in most cases, it's, it's, it's really hard to go wrong here unless you have some special needs. To sort of pull these all together, if we look at the computer, we have at the heart of it the brain, the central processing unit. That's how quickly can it think, if you will. Since there's multiple cores, sometimes how many things can it think about at once? But more important to how many things can it think about at once is the memory. That's how many things it's actively working with at once. Is it working with five programs, ten programs? Well, you need a lot of memory if you're using a lot of different programs. For storage, how much can I store on my computer? How many programs can I have, not running, but available on the computer? And how many files can I save? You have the hard drive. Again, most hard drives these days are going to be plenty big for most people's needs. Mouse and keyboard, whatever feels right to you. Video card and sound card, most of these will serve you fine. The video card, again, you might want to look to see, does it have room for two monitors? And is it built into the motherboard, the main board of the computer, or a separate board? Connected to those, you have the monitor and the speakers. Monitor, we now know how it's measured diagonally. And you just want to look at it. Make sure it's going to work for you. Make sure it fits what you need and is nice and clear and crisp. The other thing we have are those external things we might use with the computer. We didn't talk much about these, but CDs and DVDs and floppies. If you're getting a computer, you want to make sure that you have good connectivity. A thumb drive, one of those small flash drives, that will plug into any computer these days. DVD drives, any computer you get now will probably have a DVD drive that you could burn. You may or may not even have a floppy. Those are sort of fading into history. Probably not that important for most people. To pull this down just into a simple list of what to look for, you have the processor. Dual core or quad core is preferable. Memory. 1 to 2 gigabytes or more. Hard drive, it's hard to go wrong. More is always better, but more always costs more also. The mouse, it's all about how it feels to you. Same thing with the keyboard, test how it feels. With both of those, again, fairly easy to get a new one if you end up not liking them. Not that big of a deal. Video card, you might want to check to see if it has dual monitor capability if you want that. And again, that integrated versus a separate card. The monitor, 17 inches or more, do not skimp. And really, in today's world, 19 inches is our 19 inch monitors are very common, even 20 and larger. But I would certainly not go with anything smaller than 17 inch. Sound card, really hard to go wrong for most people. So the things to focus on, Memory, that's probably the biggest, one to two gigabytes or more. Video card, check for the dual monitor. Monitor, 17 inches or more, do not skimp. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the things you might want to look for when you're looking to get a computer, or so you can sort of check to say, hey, is my computer right now up to the modern standards?